I am a specialist in the use of the breath, and we use the breath in all sorts of different ways um, to moderate, modulate, and uh, have beneficial effects on our psyche, on our physical condition, uh, and definitely on our perspective of the world, uh, because we often forget that our perspective is is affected by all the stressors that we um, receive in our lifetime. So. Um, my work with the breath started um, inadvertently when I was about 10 years old and a kid put a paper bag in front of my face and told me to breathe into it 20 times and then let me down to the ground very gently. And I was so struck by the experience uh, that it uh, became compelling to me. And, and I met it again uh, as a young father at the age of 18. I was um, learning the Le Mans breathing method and the Le Boyer breathing method for childbirth. And uh, and so we would practice every day. I would coach my wife and, of course, was there at the birth to do the same thing as well. And, and so I, I never knew that I would end up getting involved in it professionally, but this and other experiences along the way, uh, eventually one day the penny dropped and I thought, well, I would have never, ever imagine that I would end up becoming involved professionally with the breath. But I think the reason that I did was because I was continually seeing the profound difference that it makes, not just in my own life, in my own life experience and how to greet different situations in different ways, but, um, but also to see how it changed other people. What we're going to do is we're going to count in for a count of four and then we're going to exhale for a count of eight. And after twice exhaling to the count of eight, we're going to extend it to nine. And then after two times again, we're going to extend it to 10. And we'll stop at 10 just for the case of our example today. But um, you can actually keep extending it. And with practice, you can get up to 30 or 40 or even 50. Uh, slowing down that exhale, which activates our vagus nerve, our well-being nerve, and is uh, requiring us to keep some kind of measurement of what we're actually doing. And so the measurement rather fools the subconscious, because if we're going to measure something, then um, we begin to lose the state of awareness we had before in favor of wanting to get it right right because we all want to get it right so um, when i count in for four and then count out for eight it's actually quite challenging to suddenly regu regulate your breath that way and sometimes it takes a little while to get the practice because you run out of breath too early or you still got some left or whatever it is and you've got to fiddle about with it and put it back to rights on the next breath so the first thing I want to say before we try it is to relax as much as you can and just follow the count and know that if you fall out of line, just exhale the rest or suck in a breath earlier if you need to and just come back to the rhythm just as soon as you can. And today we're just doing a little practice, but I'm going to leave you with an exercise that will be something that you can work with and you'll find over a period of a few days that this will become more and more easy and more and more natural to do as well. And just as soon as you get that little, that first sensation of anxiety, maybe it's sweaty hands, or maybe you feel your heart beating a bit more strongly, or you can feel it in your chest, then you can immediately tuck into that little breath pattern and know that you can be safe there. You're not going to get, you're not going to raise the um, hormone production any, any further. So, We'll try it, I'll, let me see, I'm going to count, okay, I'm going to count with my hand and I'm going to say inhale and exhale. And when I count, I'm going to start with the number two, because if I say inhale, one, two, three, four, you're actually inhaling to a count of five instead of four. So I'm going to be saying things like inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, and so on, just so you're not surprised when I do it, okay? So let's just take an easy breath in and out to begin with. Hmm. And now we'll count in. Two, three, four, and exhale. Two, three, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Gonna exhale for nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale for ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale for four, two, three, four, and exhale for ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we are. Now just relax. So those first times you might have run at seven or you might have had stuff left at 10 or whatever it is, it's not really important. What's important is to remember not to forget. So in other words, it's not important how many times you forget, it's important how many times you remember. And that in the, in the course that I teach on anxiety, we have an online course that I teach about it, is one of the conditions that we do the course is that you're willing to measure differently. I think with something like anxiety, we tend to measure how far we've got to go instead of measuring how much we've actually accomplished. And if we can't acknowledge what we've done, even by just listening to this and trying it for two or three minutes as we are now, then we have no traction. We have no starting gate to begin from. So it's very important, I think, to start with acknowledgement and then to learn how to differently. What is it that's actually different that I've done in just these few minutes, as opposed to all the stuff that I've still got on my list 